Hello and welcome back to Full Let's Plays in the Game. My name is Steeler and today we're doing Let's Play Apoc Z. Now before we get started, I just want to say something, a new little trend that I'm doing. When I start a Let's Play series, I usually like to explain the game for those of you who may not know about it, but for those of you who do, that's like the worst thing ever, is just to suffer through an entire session of me talking about stuff you already know. So, at the top of the screen right now, you will see a time that you can skip to if you just want to skip over me explaining the game, uh, which shouldn't take too long anyway, but, uh... So there we go, those people should be gone, I hated them anyway, so... <laughs> you know, all three people that'll watch this video, but, uh... Let's see, uh, that's right, Epoxy, it's a zombie survival horror game, uh, very reminiscent of DayZ and Rust, it's like a mix of the two, but the prominent feature of it is it's only $1. On, uh, the Xbox Game Store, you can pick it up for literally $1.08, because for some reason there's tax. But, and for that price, I mean, proportionately, it is better than DayZ, despite all the bugs, the frequent crashes, and other stuff like that but it does have xbox live capability so it's not just a single player game it is a 15 player server maximum uh for this it's it's a pretty decent game i gotta say and i'm gonna keep stressing and repeating one dollar because uh it's it's just pretty good now uh this is going to be sort of like a let's play walkthrough playthrough tutorial tips and tricks guide uh everything just mixed together in one but uh i guess that will get started I'm going to be uh, just basically for this first episode uh, going to be showing you some cool tips and tricks and explaining the basics of it and maybe we can get into an actual let's play with multiplayer you know more than just me uh, at a later date so uh, deploying tents I might as well explain that first whenever you join a session your tents which is basically your storage areas that will move from server to server have to deploy into the world now that is the only thing I don't like about this because it it, it just takes like five minutes, okay? I'm the only person on the server, so it went really quick. But if you go onto a full server, which, by the way, you never see, the the tents just take so long to spawn in, and you're not, if you, I don't know if you read the text, but you're not allowed to actually pick up or drop or do anything in the world until they have spawned in. So you're literally waiting there for five minutes while zombies may be eating you because you don't have a weapon from your tent while they're deploying. They really gotta fix that, but other than that, that's pretty much the worst bug in the game. Uh, also, zombies like this, that's another bug. They get stuck in walls. Uh, a, a tip for you, pro tip right here, don't go near them, because they can hit you through the wall, and you can, well, sometimes you can get a good hit on them, but they will definitely hit you and make you bleed and stuff. So, that's a thing. <laughs> now, I just did a recording on this, and it actually crashed, so I'm very paranoid and looking over <laughs> over my microphone to be sure that it's still capturing. That really pissed me off, because that was a very good commentary. I showed you a lot of tips and tricks that you're never going to see ever again now, but... Anyway, uh, so, I like to be a woman about my tents. Uh, you can just, uh, here's the inventory system. You can see that, oh, I actually have some weapons on me from before. Uh, and two flashlights. Hmm. Twice as bright. Uh, <laughs> you can see that I have a backpack here. This is the black backpack. I can actually show you some spawn points for it. And uh, you can see that it has all, what, 20 slots? Yep, plus your inventory over here. And you can carry uh, two small arms and a couple of machine guns here. Um, but like I said, the tents, uh, basically you can just press A and it will move it from uh, inventory to tents or tent to inventory, vice versa. Uh, this one is like my tools place. There's some pain pills in here. I should probably take those out. Uh, I guess I'll explain each of the items, uh, even though, I mean, a lot of people are already going to know about this if you've ever played the game. I'll go really fast, though. Uh, jerry cans used to refill vehicles. There are vehicles in this game used to run down zombies. They are way OP. They're so overpowered because even if you're just sitting in the car, zombies cannot hurt you. Tires and toolboxes, I've never used them. I don't know what they do. I just put them in my tent because I assume that they're used to repair vehicles, but vehicles don't get destroyed in this game, or not that I'm aware of so far. I played a couple hours of this um, so far. Uh, this is my medical tent where I keep my bandages and pain pills. Pain pills literally do nothing. <laughs> Seriously, they do nothing. Actually, I'm going to put my extra flashlight in there. There we go. And over here we have our weapons and ammo. You can see that I have definitely stockpiled a bunch. Um, that speaks for itself. And this is my food and water. I'm actually running very low on water. I should probably—I only have like three left, but I still have enough food. But uh, that's my little tent setup, and I'm in this little military base here. Now, when you spawn in, now this is also a big glitch. When you spawn, or not glitch, uh, I mean exploit bug thing. I should probably get out my axe. Um, that's not my axe, there's my axe. Um, the city which spawns over there is basically where you spawn. I think that's where everyone spawns. So literally, if you just 
walk on down here into this little base where there are hardly any zombies. Look, this is relatively few zombies. Then this is probably the best place to go. This is my little pro tip for you here. Just set up four tents, which you can find by looting the world, and put them in this corner. And then you can have your truck right here with its headlights showing that way at night. And it's just the best setup. And especially because every time you spawn in, there will be new weapons that spawn in uh, this little compound area. So that's... Just, I, I don't know why you wouldn't do that. Speaking of that, look at that. There's already some bandages and food here, uh, even some pain pills. And I think over here is where the weapons spawn. Oh, okay. Let's see, there's a few zombies over there, and I'm going to show you some zombie killing tips. Uh, the first one being, uh, oh, wow, lots of ammo over here. Uh, oh, that one's coming after me. Uh, so, first of all, zombies will make noise when they detect you and come at you. Now, they do have a very specific radius. Like, look, they won't notice me, but as soon as I get in their field of view, then they all start chasing me. Or that one, because he was closer than the rest. So, it's very buggy, but uh, a, a tip for you is if you have a whole bunch of zombies coming at you like this, see how <laughs> their radius was soon in view, what you want to do is back away with the axe. That way, when, that way you don't run towards them and they can hit you, because when you hit you they bleed and you have to use a bandage. So back away and hit them. That is my strategy I learned. Uh, you can also sort of do laps around them like this, but uh, when you press back, anything in the vicinity will be detected. See, I heard a zombie growl at me. Okay, he must be on the other side of the wall then. But when you hear a growl, you gotta do a 360, and you just gotta, you just gotta look at your surroundings. Jeez, uh, lots. It's Ammo City. I heard a zombie. Oh, he's stuck in the wall. That's fine. <laughs> Don't get too close. Remember. Um, let's see. Let's see. Uh, hold on. We're just gonna have these guys chase me. See, the stupid thing to do would be run and just slowly back away from them. Or if you have to, and there's too many of them, you can sprint away. You sprint like 10% faster. I'm just trying to remember everything I said in my last commentary because I told you like every trick in the book, and now now I can't even remember them. Uh, oh, okay. Next thing I guess I could do is my inventory setup. I'm going to show you how I keep my inventory, and it is a good strategy, so I'll be right back while I sort that out and be a woman and sort my tents around. <laughs> All right, everyone, uh, I just sorted out my inventory, uh, just putting things, uh, mixing around there. But uh, this is my sort of strategy here, actually, uh, just make sure no zombies are around. I'm going to um, just put these in my inventory instead of my backpack. There we go, just a quick way to sort it around. So this is what I try to do. I have my flashlight and my axe, which are actually things that you spawn with when you first go into the world. Um, or you die and you respawn. Uh, I have a compass just so I can get a sense of direction. I have two bandages so I don't bleed. I have pain pills even though I don't know what they do. I like to carry them around anyway. Uh, food, water, and then I have uh, at least one magazine for each of my weapons, uh, which I actually don't have another 30 round magazine. So let's go into my ammo tent. Look at how sorted out I am. I need a 30 round 5.56 NATO, which is what this takes, I believe. Yes, okay. There, so now I have, uh, actually I have another one here, but this has uh, a little bit of ammo left in it, but uh, that, that's fine. So there we go, that's uh, that's my setup right there, and then uh, I usually have um, just an extra slot in case I need extra food, water, bandages, whatever. And then the rest will just go into my backpack, whatever I decide to loot from the world. And uh, also, I always carry an extra weapon of each. See, I have... Uh, I have this right here, which is a replica of that. I try to do that just in case I die, and then I can come back. Which also reminds me, I uh, might as well get out my weapon just in case. Uh, if I come over here, I'll show you something. Um, just a sec as I kill the zombie. See, if there's one zombie, that's the only time I usually run at them. But see, when two of them come, then I don't usually run at them. He almost hit me. Uh, right over here. Oh, there's two of them. Back away. Boom, look at that. You're good. <laughs> Um, it's, the axe is also very OP, because it's a one-hit kill on zombies while weapons, like, these, these guns right here, the pistol takes, like, four shots, these will take, like, five shots, it's freaking ridiculous how many shots it takes, uh, for them to kill them while the axe just does one-hit kill. But right where I'm standing right now is my, what I call my dump hole, because... I don't know, uh, please leave a constructive comment, uh, below if you do know the answer to this, but, uh, I don't know if you can refill canteens, which I ha I don't have one on me. I apologize. There's things in here called canteens, and once you drink them, they're empty. And I can't find a way to refill them. I went over to the water thinking I could refill them, but that doesn't work. So what I do is when I have an empty canteen just taking up space because they're so useless, I just dump them right here, and pretty soon it becomes pretty comical because I'll go through so much water that those would be a big pile of empty canteens there, and you just see them because they don't despawn. 
despawn, sorry, despawn. De <laughs> Over here, I have an additional tent. This is in case someone tries to raid my base. Uh, let's see if there's any players on. Nope. Uh, if someone tries to raid my base, I have this tent behind this tree right here. Great tip for this one. And I have uh, an extra flashlight, uh, pain pills, because they're pretty much useless anyway, uh, axe, and um, a weapon with two clips of ammo. So if someone's raiding it and I respawn literally right over there where my uh, crosshair is, I can come on down here, get my weapon, kill them, and get my stuff back. That's got to be the most useful thing ever is to have a backup little base right here. And look at how secluded this is. I can barely find this myself. Look, even right here, you don't even see it. You have to come, like, right around here, and even there, you think it's a bush or something. So, if you're going to go towards this uh, base right here, which you absolutely should, the best place in the game, even though a lot of people do like that place, it's a nice camping spot for uh, people there. Um, and you should definitely go behind that tree, because it's, it's probably the best. Uh, let's see, I think I'll show you some spawn locations now, some very useful ones. Actually, I don't have my car over here. Yeah, that's another thing. The cars in this game are probably the worst thing. Oh, I'm going to have to explain all this again. I literally just did it in the other video, which crashed. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, cars do use fuel. As you saw, I did have some jerry cans in there, um, but I don't know if they can get destroyed or damaged because it hasn't happened to me yet. Uh, but they do. there's two that spawn in this city, and uh, the thing is is that when you exit a game and you come back to it, you know all, the, all your stuff will save except for the vehicles. So the vehicles will respawn to their corresponding locations which just absolutely sucks uh if you come into a herd of zo herd yeah sure a herd of zombies like this uh then you should weave around them unless there's one in your direct path in which case you can just chop them like that and you'll be fine you can keep running uh like this right here a good example you can just chop them if they're in your way and of course i miss because i suck but that's fine uh there's a zombie there i can get around them so this is the car i think this is the first time i've showed this uh it always spawns with full fuel i think they're coming up with an update like that because people can just spam this because what you can do is if your car runs out of fuel you can exit the session rejoin it and the car will respawn in the center of the city with full fuel it it's such a dumb system they gotta fix that but the other thing is see how fast i was going on this road actually let's do that again i'm gonna turn around here and uh watch this so look at that i'm going full speed what happens if i go on the grass Boo, just immediately slow down, and then look at how slow I go. Th the cars in this are just so horrible. You would not slow down like that on grass, especially level gl grass like that in real life. And like I said, the vehicles are so OP because, look, the zombies will chase you, but they can't do anything to you. It's, it's ridiculous. But right in the center of the city, like I said, where you spawn. So if you die, I'll literally respawn, and I can get this vehicle again. It's so dumb. Uh, the other vehicle is up here by this little house. There's a... Uh, big ol' uh, nice house up here. This is also a great place if you want to hide some tents. Uh, but that one does much better off-road and on-road. It's a much faster vehicle, better fuel efficiency, and it even looks cooler too, so uh, if you just want that vehicle. Actually, it might take that. Um, it's so hard to kill zombies on the grass, because look at how freaking slow I'm going. I could run faster than that. But if I get out, and then I just run away, and I can dodge these zombies like a MLG Pro. And then I come around here. I don't know why she took that way around. She knew my plan. Uh, luckily, I didn't take any damage from that for some reason. All right, next thing we're going to talk about is uh, the the sound quality. Okay, so listen to how loud this sound is. I'm not even going to boost the audio. This is just real-time sound. It'll probably It's probably so loud it'll pick back up into my microphone. But I'm going to barely just tap this tree. Ready? Barely just tap it. Gonna go really, really slow. Really, really slow. Oh my god, jeez. It's like the end of the world right there. But now watch this. Okay, so now I'm going to floor it. And by... F Jesus Christ. All also, the, the clip on trees is horrible. There's like a five-mile radius around trees that don't let you go near them. Uh, especially the branches and stuff. But now watch this. I'm gonna go full speed into this wall. Same exact volume. It's so stupid. All right, uh, going to back to spawn locations uh, after I have my rant like that. That black backpack right there, there's green, blue, and black backpacks. Uh, definitely take the black one. It has 20 slots, and it doesn't have any downsides, as in, like, it won't slow you down or anything. Uh, but these little concrete structures, especially like that base that I'm actually camped at right now, 
Um, stupid inverted controls, by the way. Uh, these are very great for weapons, as you can see right here. A whole bunch of them spawn. So if you want weapons, find one of those military bases. They're all over the map, and they're great places just to camp out, especially because zombies uh, have a hard... Or even humans have a hard time getting in, because there's usually only one entrance slash exit. So uh, I suppose that's everything I talked about in the last one. No, I just remembered one additional thing. Let's just get away from these zombies. Um, so let's see, I talked about the axe being OP, just a one-hit kill, but also the weapons attract zombies because they're so loud and they will actually chase you. So my recommendation is save weapons for humans because they are they also may be long range, okay? Just just use the axe on zombies. Don't waste your time using your am precious ammo and probably health as well. <laughs> Uh, usually when a zombie hits you, you, you lose blood, but uh, what I can do here is I can eat this mushroom soup and I'll get 10 health back, or 4 in this case, to get back to 100. Stupid thing is, as I carry food and water around, I shouldn't even do that, because even if I starve to death or dehydrate to death, I will literally spawn on the other side of the city, I can run back, reclaim my items, Inception-like, and... That's that's it. I don't lose anything. It's not like in Minecraft where I'll lose experience or anything. <laughs> like I could literally just go right back. I'm in I'm in eye shot of my base right now. Probably even within earshot even. But uh, I'm gonna show you some with the guns. Hopefully this doesn't attract anyone. All right. So we're going to take. Uh, let's see. We're gonna, I I this is, isn't even this game. It's every game honestly. Let's see which gun is actually better. Uh, da, 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 da. Hmm. I guess I'll use this one just because it's here. Okay, so as you can see, I have a full clip of ammo right here. And this is also a loaded weapon. Oh, that's a pro tip right there. If you have an unloaded weapon and a full clip in your inventory, make sure you reload. It'll uh, free up a space in there. Make sure all your guns are loaded at all times. Oh, I just died a little bit. Um... Oh, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, okay. So I wish every game like this did it, um... An example would be Call of Duty. Okay, so as you can see, I have two full clips. If I shoot a bullet and I reload, watch, I drop the clip and then I reload another one. Now, what did you think that because I dropped the clip, and you can definitely see this better in Call of Duty, how he actually drops the clip, wouldn't you think that the clip would be gone? All 29, the rest of the bullets would be gone. But somehow they magically end up in my inventory. And then watch, I'll shoot again and I'll reload this clip. So now the other clip should have 29. Nope. It has, this one has 28, and now this one has 30. I wish games were more realistic, because in reality, if you shot a bullet, changed the clip, shot another bullet, you'd have 29 bullets in two clips. You wouldn't have 30 in one and 28 in the other. And you can even do this. The funniest thing in Call of Duty was you have a, like a LMG, and you just fire one bullet at a time and reload after each one. You can have 500 clips with one bullet in it, apparently. It's just... It's just, I wish games were more realistic, but as you can see, it's nighttime now, you can have this cool flashlight, which doesn't do much. The light in this game is very... It, it treats... We're, we're gonna bring some science into this. It treats vehicles, actually anything, it treats all matter as if it's just a vacuum, and it will go straight through it. I don't know if you'll be able to see it too well here, but if you leave your car's headlights on, which is a, a mechanic in this game, you can actually leave them on, this will actually... I'm stuck. Alright, so another bug here, you actually get stuck in your vehicle, but the light in this game will just travel through objects as if they're not even there, which they need to fix, they need to make it so that when light hits an object, it stops. <laughs> okay, uh, the controls are inverted, like I said, it sucks, I wish there's a way to get rid of that, I don't think there is, there, there are controller options, but none of them uh, are completely good, so I just stuck with the original and dealt with the invertedness. Um, actually, I can probably show you right here. Okay, so see, the light should stop on this wall. I gotta kill these zombies first. <sighs> Remember, I heard the noise, so that means they're coming after me. Alright, so look, uh, we're just going- Oh crap, I don't have my axe out. I can't see a thing either. Turn or run, you idiot. Jesus Christ, I, how am I not bleeding yet? I don't know. But look, look at that. The light travels right through the wall, and that is such a giveaway for your base. So if I left my car headlights on, just trying to shine over there so I can see what I'm doing, someone could pass by and just see it. It's the most horrible thing ever. And just because I stepped one inch closer to that zombie, uh, she detected me. But once again, $1 game, just ignore the bugs and everything. It, they'll work it out eventually. But uh, let's see. I think that I showed you the spawn locations for most stuff. Um... 
just uh, basically, if you spawn in this city, or any city for that case, most of them have these little military bases, go in here, set up your tents, find a large backpack, do this setup I have here, remember all the tips I gave you, especially like the zombies stuck in walls and stuff, and am I still recording? Oh, thank God it didn't crash this time. I would have been so mad if I was going for another half hour again and it crashed. But I think I got everything done. This one might have even been better than the last commentary, so... <sighs> Okay, <laughs> there, I, I just had to breathe, because that really made me mad, I freaked out when I saw that it crashed, but, uh, so, um, that's right, I remember talking about in the other one, hold on, I need a drink, I'm so parched right now, there we go, alright, uh, yeah, the other thing I talked about was, I don't know how I got on the subject, but it's true, I don't start my channel by going, subscribe to my channel now, and like, and view, make all your friends view it too. I hate channels that literally do that, and I'm not over-exaggerating. They'll literally start the video. It's like, hey guys, another GTA 5 glitch here. Subscribe to my channel. Did I mention you should subscribe? Yeah, you should definitely subscribe right now. All right, if you're going to do that, I'm at least professional about it, and I do it at the end, all right? I just wanted to say that, uh, I, I don't know where that came from, but... It, like, I, I'll say at the end now, this is my outro. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, like, recommend, and comment. New ideas and games. I've been Steeler, and I'll see you in the next one. There you go. Don't use precious time at the beginning of the video just to do that, because that will make people go away. And it makes you look stupid as well for freaking free advertising your channel. If anything, that's against YouTube's rules, especially if your videos are monetized. Sorry, I just had to go on that rant, but... <laughs> So, I don't think we actually got a lot done in this video. This was mostly just a little tips and tricks video and how to get started in Epoxy. I might actually label the video as getting started, but uh, we'll have to find out. So, um, I went on my little rant about this stupid ammo system, how if you drop a clip or even store it in your inventory, it should actually follow what should happen, but no, no game does that. There's like that one game that did that, which I can't even remember right now, but I mean... I enjoyed that. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Oh, da, 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 da. oh yeah, that's right. Uh, everyone, make sure uh, you comment below um, if you want to see more of this uh, or if you want to see multiplayer. Uh, if you have any questions or if you have any uh, suggestions for me, like say, hey, the tire or toolbox is used for this. Uh, make sure it's constructively, of course. I think I covered everything. Thank God. I'm still capturing. Good. All right. <laughs> Uh, hold on, I'm just gonna go through it one more time in my head, and I'll cut back to you in a second. Alright everyone, I figured I'd, uh, show you what happens just for this little ender here. What happens when you die? So I'm just letting these zombies kill me, and then it'll say you are dead, and then you wait a couple seconds and you'll respawn. And now I'm gonna show you the thing. Uh, when you spawn in, if you don't spawn in this city like I do here, uh, luckily I got an axe. Uh, let's see if I can find it, actually. <laughs> um, hopefully I spawned in the right place. Guys, where's the city? Oh, there it is, okay. Yeah, so if you don't spawn in this city, just stay near your spawn location because you respawn in the exact same place every time. Until they fix that, and if you're watching this way in the future, like, if they've already come out with the update, then just look at the upload date, please. Use logic, don't accuse me of something that I was right on before. Um, look, same, same city, I'm gonna find it uh, right over here. Look at that. I can just run over here and grab my stuff. There's no point in me even drinking water or bandaging or getting food or anything because I can just die, respawn, and get my stuff back. It And even my backpack as well. I mean, it's just, it's just the worst system, but hey, at least it's in my favor, all right? It's super simple and everything. Uh, by the way, do not go in the water. You will die. I just remembered that as I sort of looked at it. Uh, there are a couple zombies here. All right, let's see if my strategy works. See so you back away as you swing your axe with one shot kills them, and you're good. Look at that. There's my dead black body for some reason. Uh, and then you just take everything and can't pick up weapon. Why? Oh, because I have two axes. <laughs> I was like, why can I not pick that up? Okay, uh, we'll just fill our entire inventory, and then there you go. Look at that. Look at how simple that was. And I respawn with 100 blood, water, and food, and everything stays here. So, I don't know. It, it's very glitchy. But uh, next time, uh, I'll see if I can kill some players, you know, be a bandit and everything. I've been going long enough, and I already did my outro like five minutes ago. Still got to work on that. Uh, I got to do one outro, and then literally end the video. But, uh... So thank you everyone, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank God this one didn't crash. See you later.